is the very first of its kind in the world. It's like a, a fresh breath of life is being blown into the area, into this community. We're going to deliver on our promise to replace an anachronistic institutional campus with an inclusive community of caring. Our time has come. CAMH is transforming the face and the future of mental illness and addictions. The history of the CAMH site at 1001 Queen Street West, like the history of mental illness itself, is one of isolation, stigma, and neglect. A tour through the, uh, through the current buildings, uh, while we have world-class people, world-class programs, the buildings are incorrigible and, and certainly not reflective of that model of care. The Centre for Addiction and Mental Health, CAMH, has embarked on a bold redevelopment project to revitalize this historic site, advance treatment, and change attitudes towards those with mental illness and addictions. Opening up its secluded 27-acre campus to the community, CAMH is creating an urban village where being part of the community is part of the treatment. Nine new city blocks where state-of-the-art hospital buildings will exist side by side with shops, restaurants, businesses, and parks. In April 2008, the first new buildings opened on White Squirrel Way, the first of several new city streets that will weave into the once secluded site. These brand new light-filled buildings are designed to be home-like, encouraging personal choice, autonomy, and privacy. Every client in the new units has a private room with a view, washroom, and passkey access. Modern, comfortable, and designed for healing, these units are part of a truly client-centered approach to care. If you have the ability to make your own decisions, that's the first step in recovery. At 15, I was experiencing all the symptoms that were considered as being psychotic symptoms. The voices were more persistent and more, um, you know, they, they bothered me more than ever at this point because I knew that I was at the pivotal point of getting worse. So right away, CAMH had provided a support system that allowed my family and I to understand how to cope. The next phase of the redevelopment, with construction now underway, will change the face of the Queen Street site with three new CAMH buildings scheduled to open in 2012. The Intergenerational Wellness Center will be a unique 60-bed clinical care building, bringing together geriatric mental health care with the child, youth, and family program. Twelve new beds dedicated to youth struggling with both mental illness and addiction will be the first beds of their kind in Canada. The CAMH Gateway Building will provide welcoming outpatient facilities, a state-of-the-art gymnasium, hospital administration, and a street-front, client-run cafe. A third building will have specialized assessment rooms, a family support office, meeting space, utilities, and a multi-level parkade, maximizing green space on the site. And these will be green buildings, built to meet the gold standard for energy and environmental design. The first non-CAMH use building will go up at the same time, truly transforming the site into a mixed-use urban village. Located right on Queen Street West, its street-level retail, topped by affordable rental housing, will weave the site into the fabric of the surrounding neighborhood. Eventually, half of CAMH's 27 acres will be an exciting and vibrant mix of non-hospital uses. As a neighbor, it's going to be a wonderful outcome when the whole project is finished, to have streets go through, and to have pedestrians go through, and to have life mingle with the hospital. A future phase will include a schizophrenia client care building and the Center for Discovery and Knowledge Exchange, bringing superior research, education, and health promotion side by side with clinical care. It will also have a theater and new art space right on Queen Street West. CAMH's bold new hospital within an urban village will be home to the best specialized care in the world, changing attitudes towards mental illness and addictions and bringing a new energy and pride to our city. The more we can let the community know what's going on here, what we're actually doing, the more we can engage the clients with the outside community, I think it's the best opportunity we've got to be able to reduce that stigma. To actually be part of a community is, is highly desirable and, uh, and conducive, I think, to the, uh, to the mental health of the entire city.